Jeanette here and I'm from Kay's Flower School. Today I want to show you how to make some florist bows using this cheap florist ribbon that's available from most flower shops. Welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a large cluster bow using red ribbon. And this ribbon would be suitable maybe for Christmas time. You could use this bow for tying on the end of a Christmas tree or even for a large parcel. Later on I will show you other videos how to make some smaller versions of this bow. So again, you need some florist ribbon and you need a sharp scissors. Measurement wise, you need four arm stretches of the ribbon. Start from one shoulder and stretch out your arm. Do this four times. If your arm happens to be a little bit shorter, my arm is quite long. Just give yourself that extra stretch. Using the four stretches of ribbon, make a circle. This circle is approximately the width of an A4 page. Using your two hands, Wind the ribbon up. Roly poly, roly poly, roly poly is often what I say to our students. Where the ribbon finishes, this is not as important, but if you could manage to keep that near the edge. Get your circle of ribbon and fold it over in half. On the folded side, crease it. Try to avoid creasing down here. This will be eventually the loops on your bow. Using your sharp scissors, cut out two triangles. And now just turn it over and cut out another triangle. The idea would be to leave a small piece in the centre. When I open this bow, just opening it out flat, you'll see it looks like a dicky bow shape. Hold it in the centre. What you need now is an extra strip of ribbon for tying up the bow. So again, using the same colour, but you could use an opposite colour if you prefer. Get another arm stretch. If you were using these bows for tying on seats and weddings, seats at churches and weddings, you might prefer to have this ribbon a little bit longer. From the centre of the ribbon, tear off a thin strip. This ribbon tears really easy. Just press through your fingernails and then just tear it. The thicker piece of ribbon, rest that to the back of your dicky bow shape. The thinner piece of ribbon, lie it across it. The trick now is to try and dye a double knot, and this can be a little bit hard. I find is if I fold it back in half again, and just rest it against my body and then using my hands I can then tie a knot, pull it really really tight and then tie a second knot. If you're making these bows in advance the best thing to do is store them like that until near the time. When you're ready to open the easiest thing to do is pull out the inside loop. Sometimes you might need to dampen your finger. Pull out the inside loop and twist it to me. Inside loop, twist it to you. Inside loop, twist it to me. Inside loop, twist it to you. So as you can see, I'm pulling the loops backwards and forwards and giving them a little twist as I do this. Continue doing that until all the loops are pulled out on that side. Now repeat the process on the opposite side. Again, inside loop, twist it to me. You will end up with two straight pieces. These will be the tails of the bow, but I will show you how to neaten them off later. Inside loop, twist it to you. Inside loop, twist it to me. Inside loop, twist it to you. And so on, again, until all the loops are pulled out. The two straight pieces that I was left with, as I said, these are like the tail pieces of the bow. What you can do is fold them over in half, and then using a sharp scissors, cut a sharp V. When you open it, this is the procedure. The two thin strings is what you can tie around the base of your Christmas tree or onto your present. The two thicker strips, they can be allowed to then hang down. If you like, you can even them off to the same length, or you can do this little fancy cut again. Fold it over and do a little cut upwards. On later videos, we'll show you how to make these bows in other colours. Thank you for watching.